Xin chào, what's up everybody? Hello everyone. All right, in this video we're gonna talk about the subway, the train, MRT, bus, taxi, tuk-tuk. Hold on, this is a good spot to film. Let me, let me film a little bit here. That's why I wanted to film. So there's lots of different ways of transportation around Bangkok. The subway is a pretty efficient system. They also have a BTS system, which is a train that pretty much remains in the sky from what I gather. It was probably built first with the subway after, or maybe vice versa. I don't know the history. But the MRT is very efficient. Uh, if you're far from a station, of course, it starts to become not as efficient. The quickest and most efficient way to travel around is a tuk-tuk. The tuk-tuk drivers often ask for a little bit too much more, too much money, so you gotta negotiate well. Look at the kilometers. If it's under five kilometers, you can usually get it for 100. If it's five to 10 kilometers, 200. And I have so far not paid more than 200 for more than 10 kilometers. We did 11 last night, it's like 200. I think I might have got the guy to agree to 150. But you have to negotiate for sure. The taxis are the cheapest if you use them on a Bolt app, but oftentimes you can't get one. We in fact just tried to stop using it, but if you can get a taxi and he'll run the meter, it's the cheapest to travel by far. Metro is pretty good. Uh, for the BTS, you gotta get a card, a rabbit card. I don't know if you can tap in on that too, but for the subway, you can just tap your debit card as long as you gotta upgrade a chip one. So very, very convenient. Uh, I don't know if you can on the BTS too, you probably can. I, we just got in the line and I got a rabbit card. Probably could have avoided that. I don't know, let me know in the comment section. As far as efficiency to subway and overall system, it's okay. It's definitely not a Seoul or a Japan or anything really like that. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely good, but yeah. Buses are okay, there's not enough of them. I'd skip them. Yeah. Walking is nearly impossible since I've been here. The city's too spread out. It's almost like a 20 minute ride to go anywhere, right? Huh? Which way are we walking? Let's go. Now we're going back the way we came. Shouldn't be that way. Should be this way, right? Like this. It doesn't look right to me. I think it's supposed to go this way, right? This way or this way? But you can only walk this way. This way? I don't know. Which way? But during the day and everything's so spread out, it's not a highly walkable city. Um, as far as crazy traffic, like Vietnam, nothing of the case. Some of the people were trying to compare it. I don't see anything comparable. This way, right? I don't know. It's so like this. Maybe. Did we go into the CM Discovery? Yesterday. Are you sure? There's so many of these malls. Yes. yes. Okay. So, the traffic's pretty crazy because there's way more cars. It must be easier and cheaper to get a car. They do have RHD here, right-hand drive, because I think Britain gave them a uh, British sports car when cars got kicked off, so that's what they accommodated the streets to. I found it. I, I don't remember that from last time, so found that to be a pretty interesting fact. Other things that are. Uh, if you're really into lady boys, this is a great place for you. I'll do a full video about this, but oh my gosh. Every day I see dudes like proudly with the uh, with their lady boy and no one's judging them. So if you're really into that, this is the place to be. It's it's walkable, but it's just not made for walking. I'd almost dare to say. Saigon's more walkable. The sky bridges are great. The subway stations, of course, are great to traverse. Now I'm saying. The 
So as far as the transportation go, taxis number one on Bolt, gonna be the cheapest, very difficult to get. Oh, Grab is pretty expensive. Grab's like 150 minimum in a car, so $6. Everything's about 20% more expensive here. What do you think? Huh? I don't know. She doesn't know. That's because guess who's been spending all of his money? Sugar Daddy Chris. I know this is about 20% more expensive. There's one of the public buses. A little bit even crazier than Vietnam's. Although Vietnam's going to slowly replace all theirs with electric. I don't know how that'll work though. And I guess if they say it's more efficient, it's more efficient. So I'm definitely going to start doing the full series of all the videos of the differences, why you would pick one over the other. Uh, I've now kind of got really a lay of it. You know, we've been out every day for three days doing all kinds of different stuff. I'll stick to my guns. It's a, a whole lot Saigon, not crazy amount of tourist stuff to do. It's more so to party, eat, party, eat, rinse, repeat, you know. But I do enjoy the subway. I, I, I'll, I'll admit that it's better than I thought it would be. It's efficient. It's very cool. As in aircon's running hard. Uh, definitely the tuk tuks are the funnest. Make sure you negotiate. So they'll try to hit you for 500. That's 20 bucks. Like wild prices. I wait for my wife. Cause I would love my wife. How's your birthday going so far, honey? Huh? Hello? Win Win, how's your birthday? Uh, it's okay. Haven't seen any gift yet. You're waiting for the present? Yes, still waiting for the present. It's my birthday, by the way, not hers. I turned the good old age of 60 today. How is it being a 30 year old woman with a 60 year old guy? Huh? How is it being. Honey, a don't feel my face. How is it being with the 30 year old? So you're So listen, you're 30, I'm 60. How's it feel to be with a 60 year old guy? I'm good. If he can buy me the luxury product. Do you want a Louis Vuitton bag? We'll go get you one now. I want Hermes. You want Hermes now? Okay. Now she wants Hermes. Yes. If anyone wants to make a, a random donation for Hermes bag, let me know. <laughs> PayPal's open. It'll all go towards the Hermes bag. For real, for real. Probably not, but for real. I mean, if you actually pay for a Hermes bag, sure. Go get her a Hermes bag. And the weed thing's wild out here. Wild. I'm, this is kind of a preview of what I'm going to talk about and all the differences. There's a bunch of quirky laws here for shit, too, so like... We're gonna break that down. The weed is insane though. Like I'm gonna really get into detail about the, from what I've seen, I've gone into like well, 30 dispensaries now. It reminds me a whole lot of the cannabis medical boom in California. We're talking, you know, 20 years ago. So yeah, we'll talk about that. Again, best modes of traffic, in my opinion, MRT, BTS. Took to it. Even though taxi's the cheapest, it's the least fun. Hey, we gotta go up. Quit talking to you. You can't go straight there. You gotta go up. There's this is a dead end. I think, I don't know, I just made that up. You can see, I could be wrong. Yeah, uh, I've gotten enough time and gotten comfortable enough to where I can see the appeal. And then, of course, I'm going to be going to Pattaya. So I'll let you know what I think of that. I'm not going to go to Phuket. It costs too much. I'm not going to waste hundreds of dollars on Phuket. Next time I come back. So, that's the video, guys. Thank you for sticking with me. It's my birthday today. Uh, we will be live streaming, but this won't come out before that, so... If you want to support me in more ways, you can jump over to Patreon. There's a video a day in Thailand coming out on Patreon. So, yeah. Thanks, guys. Stay frosty. See you on the next one.